So if you sit close to your PS4 while gaming, you've probably heard the fans ramp up until it sounds like a lawnmower. Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix that by changing your thermal paste. This process is not very complicated and I would recommend it to those of you who are comfortable with opening up your electronics and, well, enjoy avoiding your warranties. Before we begin, there's a couple of things you'll need. A can of compressed air, isopropyl alcohol or Arctic's cleaning kit, some thermal paste, I recommend Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, but any decent thermal paste should be better than the one that's already installed, a screwdriver with a standard Phillips head and a TR9 Torx head, and some paper towels. Avoid your PS4's warranty by removing these four stickers and the four TR9 Torx screws underneath them. With the PS4 upside down, remove the bottom cover by lifting along the back. Remove the three Torx and two Phillips screws holding down the power supply. Disconnect the power supply from the main board and gently lift it up and out of the PS4. Disconnect the optical drive by pressing down on this metal release tab and gently pulling the ribbon cable. Repeat the step for the other side of the ribbon cable. The step shouldn't take any force. Unplug the Blu-ray drive and the Wi-Fi antenna and remove the four Torx screws and the four Phillips screws. You should now be able to remove the metal shield, Wi-Fi antenna, and the Blu-ray drive. Remove the top left of the casing by pushing it away from the console. Remove the two Torx screws and single Phillips screw under it and slide out the hard drive. Remove the top right cover by lifting at the front and sliding it backwards. Now remove these 12 screws from the metal frame. Finally, remove the two Phillips screws from the bracket holding the heat sink to the ATU die. Remove the metal frame and disconnect this tiny fan cable by gently pulling it upwards. Lift up the main board and rest it on a flat, preferably anti-static surface with the APU side up. First remove as many of these big dry chunks as you can, then using isopropyl alcohol on a paper towel, wipe the rest off the APU die and the area around it. If you're using Arctic Clean, apply a couple of drops to the thermal compound and let it emulsify for about 2 minutes before wiping it off. Repeat the process to clean your heatsink. Now, grab that can of compressed air and clean out as much dust as you can from your PS4. Make sure to focus on the fan, heatsink, and lower half of its housing. Apply a little bit of your new thermal paste and spread it out making sure not to leave any part of the die exposed. Align your motherboard and gently reseat it. Reconnect the 3-pin fan cable and reinstall the metal frame. Then, reinstall the bracket, making sure to screw in each side before tightening it down. Follow this guide backwards to put your PS4 back together. If you're wondering how much of a difference that made, here's a before and after. The audio was recorded while boarding an enemy ship after sailing for about an hour in Assassin's Creed 4. 